Hi everybody, uh, welcome to the Aura Linux 41 release party. I am joined with Matthias Klassen, who's going to give us a short update of the work that went into the Fedora workstation for this release. Matthias, I'll turn it over to you for an introduction. And to Hi, yeah, I'm Matthias. Um, I've been participating in the Fedora workstation working group for a long time. And this time it's my turn to present an update on uh, what's new and exciting in the workstation edition of Fedora 41. Before diving in, I'll mention that I do most of my work in upstream GNOME, and my highlights will mostly center around things that happened in GNOME, but I will include a few things that are not GNOME-specific. So without further ado, let's get, get to it. One thing that has been happening for a while is that we've been replacing default apps with newer, more modern replacements as they become ready. One app where we did not do this very quickly is the terminal. There's a simple upstream replacement called GNOME Console that has been around for a few releases, but we were hesitant to switch uh, since the new app was missing a few things that we expect heavy terminal users to rely on. More recently, Christian Hergert made an effort to write a modern terminal that is using GTK4 and libadvator while preserving important features of GNOME Terminal. It fits the bill for what we are looking for in a terminal replacement, so you will find it in Fedora 41. The upstream app has the name Pytuxis, but since nobody can pronounce that, we just call it terminal in Fedora anyway. And uh, here's a screenshot of it. It looks like a terminal. There's not that much UI after all. One new thing I want to point out here is uh, that our default terminal prompt is now bright and green, thanks to a change by Jens Peterson. But let's look a bit more at what's new and cool in the new terminal. It does support light and dark mode, with a UI that will be familiar from other modern GNOME apps. It also features a fancy tab overview, which those of you with 50 tabs open might appreciate. You can also search for tabs there. Another thing that Christian was paying attention to in this rewrite is better toolbox integration. As you can see here, we finally have a way to explicitly open a new tab, either in one of the running toolboxes or on the host. And here you can see that Pertuxis does preserve most of the options from GNOME Terminal with some visual refreshes in the preferences dialog. So I think you'll find the options that you were relying on are still there. Now I'll switch gears and talk about something else entirely. The Fedora 41 release includes quite a few improvements for users of the proprietary NVIDIA driver. We had considered removing the driver from GNOME software since it did not work with Secure Boot, but instead Milan stepped up and made it possible to install the driver even with Secure Boot enabled by using MockUtil to create and enroll your own key. I apologize that I don't have screenshots of this workflow, but I don't have any NVIDIA hardware around to take them. We've also improved the toolbox support. The NVIDIA drivers will be available in your toolboxes if, it is, if they are installed on the host system. This means that you can just install the CUDA toolchain inside your toolbox and it will just work, hopefully. Lastly, Pipewire gain, has gained support for explicit sync and Mutter is using that for screen sharing and screen recording. The upshot is that you should see less glitches in screen sharing and recording on NVIDIA since the NVIDIA driver requires explicit sync. Back to screenshots. Fractional scaling is available out of the box in Fedora 41. GTK has seen uh, a few improvements to its fractional scaling support, so we were comfortable with enabling it by default now. And there's a new file chooser. The file chooser portal is using the files app for selecting files now. This means that any improvement to the file manager will automatically benefit every app that needs to open a file. And there will be no more bugs complaining about the file chooser and the file manager disagreeing about some detail of the UI. Speaking personally as the GTK maintainer, that makes me very happy. I have to admit that I cheated a little bit for this screenshot since GTK will by default still use a local file chooser unless the app is running in a flat pack sandbox. 
we are considering changing this around to prefer the portal regardless of sandboxing. That may happen in Fedora 42. The last big item on my list will be very popular, I expect. It is not possible to tweak the accent color that is used for things like selections, focus, and default buttons. As you can see in the screenshot, this applies to both GNOME Shell UI and GNOME applications. Happy tweaking. Before closing, I want to mention a few smaller items that members of the Red Hat desktop team have worked on for Fedora 41. IPU6 camera support is important since newer laptop models increasingly come with such hardware. And it is a shame if uh, you get a brand new laptop and the camera doesn't work. Pipewire support for video conferencing in Firefox is also a nice improvement for our camera story. Lastly, the graphics tablet support in GNOME that was mostly focused on Wacom tablets so far has been extended to cover most Huion tablets as well. This ends my quick tour of Fedora 41 workstation highlights. I hope you found something exciting in there. If you want to learn more details, you can look at the Fedora magazine article or the GNOME 47 release notes, which both have more details. With that, I'll close by encouraging you to come by the matrix room of the Fedora Workstation Working Group, and maybe you even feel inspired to participate in the Workstation Working Group. New faces are always welcome. Thanks. Thank you very much, Jess, and a, a warm thank you to all of those who are involved in the Fedora Working the Fedora Workstation Working Group. It is fabulous to see all of those changes actually captured and there's so much going to them. So please thank you. And with that, I shall stop our recording. <laughs>